are you? This is Sills44, and welcome back to Galactic Chickens. Um, I apologize for the brief interruption. Uh, but I got the last video, it kind of ended abruptly. And I know I split the videos in half, but the other one was ending anyway. It was getting close to the end, and I just wanted to go ahead and say that I did fix the issue. Um, I, I had a crash. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what it was from. I can't tell you. Uh, there's something to do with the fact that this was all pre-generated. This mod pack was... This map was pre-generated before we added mods, and adding mods after you generate a map just isn't a good idea. But you know, it, it works if you're not if you're careful. But it just that's, you know, that's how it works. Same thing goes. So anyway, here is the ore excavator, and you can see it. Look, it's got ore coming out of the ground, and it actually will show you that like like there's iron. It's randomly picking up the, the stuff. So even though this is a um, compact machine and there's not a whole lot in here, I, I've got stuff coming into the crate behind me. So let me take a look and see what we're getting. I don't really know what I'm all going to get. It looks like iron and sulfur dust. And so sulfur dust was something that uh, Sage and I were looking at. It says it accepts any dust sulfur. That's actually something we were trying to get so that we could create sulfuric acid for enrichment. Yep, to make sulfuric acid. So that's actually really, really good to know. And I can't wait. To, I'm excited to tell him because we spent a long time trying to figure out, well, how are we going to get enough sulfur to run the ore five-time processing from mechanism? And sulfur was one of the hardest things to do. Um, tree farm to make dust the I think it was gunpowder into sulfur or something to that effect was what we came up with but it we couldn't keep up with the actual amount we needed but this looks like it's gonna add to that so we might be able to keep up with it so I'm getting quite a bit of sulfur not super fast um, yes there are tick accelerations and stuff like that that can be done I could have a wand of acceleration and a user sitting there just processing this thing. I'm not doing that. There's no need. Uh, what else am I going to get? Iron. I love love getting iron. Iron is always needed. But it's not needed for what I, I've already done. However, this is iron ore. So maybe there's something I can use. RF tools for dictionary and grit. Maybe there's some use for it. The ore itself isn't often gathered because I've got chickens. So maybe there's some use to it. Um, this whole process, I don't even... Well, technically I could double it and make gold. Grindstone, triple... Uh, it, Starlight Infusion It's pretty cool considering you can make an infinite amount of these if you know what you're doing. Um, and you can make star metal with it. So that's actually a bonus. If I wanted to do astral, I could sit there and use this iron ore in it to make star metal. That's the what I need is the ore. So this is actually kind of nice to have. I'm not going to complain. Ore is needed for different things as well. So astral, it definitely takes care of astral. And it gives me some nickel if I needed it. Um, I don't know anything else that I can think of. The ore is needed for. Obviously, it's intended to be used with immersive engineering. Um, gives me more slag, I guess. I can't really see. It's so many mods. <sighs> see. So this is the first step in making your five-step, uh, five-time ore processing. Is you melt it with sulfuric acid to get an iron slurry. That iron slurry is then process different um normally i don't bother with the five time i only do like the four time which is look it's oxygen and, or flint to get a three time and then you take that and you crush it and you can get dirty to make clean and then boom so i mean there there's that but iron ore itself i'm curious as to how much i get out of this one single setup it is possible that i could run multiple so there's iron dust there's uh, iron shards. Hydrogen chloride is not too hard to make. Um, it's hydrogen chlorine or salt in this. Um, salt is doable. It's, I don't know. You have to produce a lot. So, and then there's also 
Domcraft's version, which is doubling, and Ender IO, which is well, you get actually three different materials from it. So, and you get cobble. So that's actually another process that I may go down one of these days. Um, but this sulfur is actually a very pleasant surprise to this. Now I'm going to say that I don't know. I, I put the core that came from the core sample away, but that's a good core. No complaints here. Kind of weird. Floating war excavator. Now, um, I'm willing to wager that I could put two in here. Maybe even three or four. So, I mean, if you really wanted to keep your world without having stuff like this in it, there you go. I mean, I'm kind of actually disappointed I'm not getting anything else other than iron and sulfur, but... I'm just going to let that run. If I need to sell for, I'll come back to it. But I've got sulfur being produced by chickens. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Now you'll get different materials depending upon um, the core sample, the machine. And some of it's useful. It, it just, in this mod pack, it's your choice how you want to do it. I would have normally said it's, it's not useful because, well, you could always just do this or you could always just do that. Um, chickens or whatever. Uh, me? I'm... This is, by the way, my wool farm. And my milk. I didn't intend it to get milk. But I got milk. From, from a cow that keeps walking by. So I've got plenty of wool. In fact, I've got it going into a drawer with a void on it. This is producing wheat and seeds. It was producing rice at one point. I don't want it to produce rice though. Don't need it anymore. But if you really want to get into it, you can always do that. What's this one? Oh yeah. My awakened draconium chickens are nearly completely at 10, 10, 10. Um, I think I am done with them though. This mod pack has gone through with such a rev um, uh, revision from adding the new tinkers to adding immersive to plant tech that I really don't think I need anything else. I'm not going to make uh, super high tier stuff. I just don't see any reason to do it. Here's my inner chest that's connected to that sheep farm. In case anybody was wondering what happened to it, um, let's just go ahead and put these away. One of the things that I wanted to point out was that I'm still running. Um, if you look, you see it going down? It's because stuff is being auto-crafted. Okay? I'm still running off of this one disc. I don't have to put a ton. And yes, I'm, I'm storing a lot in external drives. That's the best way to go, in my opinion, is external storage. Uh, refined storage is external storage is very nice. So I'm going to do something just to be on the safe side, just in case we have an issue with this map and I have to restart it. I want to do a quick fly through and walk through of my base. And I think we're going to do a little bit more immersive engineering, but I wanted to fly around and take a look at everything real quick, just to show you what I've done. Inside there is my deep mob learning. Uh, this is Bob. Bob's... Um, Taking a look down here at this weird contraption, as you can tell. Uh, that's my Batania setup. Batania is uh, in the server. I have Batania set up to do a bunch more uh, mana generation than just this. In fact, it's far, far more complicated and complex and a better room. So in another video, I'll show the server if it's still up and running. I really wish I would have caught that on video. Um, unfortunately, the map seems to be having some serious hard um, lag because of the uh, new mods we added. Um, Plant Tech is not one that I'm, I'm a fan of. Uh, it's not a bad mod, it's just I'm not a fan of it. It's, it's not needed in that mod pack either. So I don't know what's going on, but it, it, it's causing issues. Uh, I want to make more water wheels and make my world look a little better. I'm not a very good builder, but if you're a really good builder, you could make this 
into anything. Think about the amount of different things you can do with this. Now, and you, you now that ore excavation is in there too, I mean, just to be able to wipe out large chunks of grass is, is nice and handy. Um, which is going to be a little book that comes out and it kind of gives you an idea of what to do. And it looks like some work has been done since the last time I messed with this mod. And maybe it's better, but it's, it's, a, it's a genetic thing. There's a lot of genetics in this mod pack. I mean, you're breeding different chickens to get different kinds of chickens. You're breeding different plants to get different kinds of plants. Different trees to get different kinds of trees. The whole nine yards. That's pretty much the uh, the gist of galactic chickens. You can easily go into outer space. You could, you know, live a subterranean life. You can do magic mod with uh, astral and, I th in my opinion, Batania is a magic mod. You want to fight me on that? Go for it. But uh, I really feel like that's what it is. Yeah. So there's my home. My little dirt. Some just really minuscule decorative stuff that's a mineral door you have your bonsai trees I mean it, the sky's the limit there's really no limit now to what I can do or can't do I mean the mining dimension is insane because the settings for it are set for what's the server I, I'm, I'm a little afraid to go in there but I want to check it out let me take some food what do we have to eat Oh, we have these. So, biscuits. So, we're good. And I don't need a hammer. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in the mining dimension now. I want to get some osmium today and get some mechanism started. I know I started doing immersive engineering, but honestly, that's pretty much as far as immersive engineering needs to go. I could go ahead and build out that town, um, but I think if I'm going to restart this map, and I might do that, um, or I might have to do that, actually. Um, here in a second, I'll find out. <laughs> um... I want to do mechanism a little bit because I want to show people how to do some of the things that I learned how to do. Yep. Boop. All right. So the mining dimension is, this is what it looks like on the server. Uh, on the top, you get a lot of cobblestone. And I want to collect some cobblestone because I had an issue with that a minute ago. What is this? Why would that be in there? That's super weird. So I'm going to shift click. Let's remove cobblestone. So I can collect cobblestone now. And now I'm going to go look for osmium. So I need to go to a chunk that wasn't loaded before this update came through. So I have no idea how far away I need to fly. I'm assuming it's not too far because I didn't really do a whole lot of mining in here. And i got to be careful because if I, if I lose where my, op my portal is, I might never go back. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, let's do this. All right. Let me do that. Do I have waypoint? No, see, I don't even have a waypoint. Make sure I have waypoint. Nope, I have no waypoint, so I don't want to get lost. I'm going to set a waypoint. And I'm going to want to be full of saturation, because when you when you vein mine, you can easily cause yourself to, like, completely run out of saturation of food. You could end up with no, no way to go anywhere. Um, see, that's all I ever did was mine right there. So let's go ahead and set a waypoint, hit new, and just type portal. Really easy. Done. Um, I could go down here and see what happens. But look at this. You need something? I got it. You know? Um, osmium. I don't know if we've got osmium on here. Yep, there it is. So according to this, the only way to get it is through this method, and then of course through creating this. Um, using the orchid, uh, I don't need to do it. I could do it. So it's useful because I'm wasting resources if I'm not using the mana, right? But at the same time, it's random and you might not get the osmium that you want. And this whole 64-3 thing, I don't even know what the heck that means. I guess that's the percentage. If out of every 64 you put down near it, it'll have three chance. So let's get down here and see if I can find a chunk that wasn't generated. This is the easiest way to tell where I've been or not been, right? 
I mean, that's the mining. Look at all this ore. Holy smoke. I forget how much... Where are we at? Y level 10? That's, that seems fine. There's aluminum. I mean, vein mining down here actually might not even be that effective. Let's find out. Alright. Um, vein miner set for the tilde key. Which is kind of silly because I don't use that key. I usually use the shift. We're going to find out how durable this pickaxe is. I'm going to go ahead and make a um, energy based pickaxe. If I'm going to do vein mining. And I suggest everybody else does the same. But at first, I mean, it's almost ready to break. Can you tell? It's a decent pickaxe, though. But it's stone. You know what I mean? Like, stone. Pretty good. Am I going to throw this away? Yes. I'm going to throw all this away. I want osmium. I don't care about any of this stuff. I got all this stuff available to me anytime I want. Um, and I don't really feel like going back. I could make a wireless... Oops. I can make a wireless A2 one. I don't know. Okay, so then it broke. I didn't bring any replacements. I'm going to cheat. Kinda. I'm going to just go ahead and teleport myself back. To home. I'm glad I set it for storage home. Okay. Look at that. My saturations. I love those biscuits. Um, let's see what I've got here. I've got enough stuff to make an end end steel. Can I make end steel? I'm just going to go ahead and make the really powerful um, dark steel end steel axe. I don't know if I have end steel upgrades. I don't think I have any upgrades ready, so I'm going to go ahead and make those right now on camera. So let's go ahead and do this. And it's going to be empower I do and I've got them ready look at that do I have the levels that's the question huh this is gonna take a lot of levels if I want to do oh I don't want to I don't want to do that I didn't even think I had these ready to go I don't need to and then do I want to direct upgrade can I make a direct upgrade it's not a pre-made so let's go ahead and put that in there I'm going to run out of room. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. I forgot how much stuff I had done. There you go. And so let's see if I can do a direct. Actually, let's see if I can make this. This is what I'm trying to make. The ender pick. This is one of my, my go-tos. I pretty much, this is what it, this is what I do. Why don't I got no end stone? End steel. How about because I don't have any end steel. What was it I was trying to make? Did I not tell it to make end steel? Uh oh. What did I do? What did I do? Um. Secret door. Where is my alloy? I have so much stuff hidden down on the ground. I don't even remember where it's all at anymore. Oh, that got clogged up, huh? Well, I wonder how that happened. And why is it that when I do that, it doesn't... Come here. Make it. Uh oh. What is it trying to make it in? Did I put it in the wrong crafter? I must have put it in the wrong crafter. Oh no. Okay. Well, how did that pot? How's that even possible? All right. All right. I, I know what's going on. I'm a goof. I think I know what it did. Or at least I know where it's at anyway. So let's just do end. It's going to take a second. 
See, there it is. It's inside a regular crafting location, and that's not that's not where it goes. We need to make sure this sucker is inside the right location. So it needs to go inside an alloy smelter where it belongs. Now we're going to cancel all the crafts, and then we're going to tell it to make it. Right? Yes. There it is. Let's make a stack. Thank you. That's going to take a little bit, not too long. So let's go in, steel, pick. What's this thing? Can I make those? What are these? Not nuggets? Give me some nuggies. That's what they call them, right? Nuggies? Super easy. It's just grains of infinity, which I, I turned that off. I don't need that anymore. I have a grain of infinity automaker. Look at that. I got a three already, so plenty. Done. See? Just like that. So now I've got extra being made. I can make some armor from it if I wanted. And... I need an anvil. I need a dark steel anvil. Do I have a dark steel anvil or is this a regular one? Yeah, it's a regular one. Oh, there's the dark steel. So the new way to do this is to hold them in your hands for these upgrades. Let me explain this. You craft the base and then you do empowered, empowered, two, three, and then four. And then five. When five requires that head, I don't feel like crafting the head. And then to turn it on, you have to sacrifice levels. This one's already been um, turned on. And then you're going to do two, three. Notice I went from 33 levels down to 21, and then four. So that almost almost killed my whole entire thing. Now, instead of putting it here, place it inside the slot down at the bottom, and then it opens up this GUI here, this graphical user interface here. And I'm just going to shift this into the first empowerment slot, and you'll notice it gains power. Same thing with two, then three, then four. I put them in in that order. Now you can see that there's other options inside there. You can use explosion upgrades and storage upgrades and travel upgrades and all kinds of stuff that can go inside of your tools. Um, I really like to get the one that says direct, and I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough levels, but let's check our experience too. We have some experience. Let's see. Why don't we just go ahead and eat those? If you shift click with them, you can just eat them all at once. And see if I can get that direct. Craft that direct. Shouldn't take long. What that does is it basically puts whatever you mine into your inventory immediately. Uh, it's useful. It's useful. And you, sir, are getting retired. You're getting retired. Stone, stone pickaxe. You'll go right here. The wall of shame. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's not really shameful. It's just, uh, you're done. I've used you up. But I don't want to get rid of it because I like it. Alright. What's the hold up, bub? Oh, you're still processing all this. And because you're processing this, you can't make this. Is that it? Well, I'm going I'm to cancel this. What's wrong with this? Come on. Blank dark steel upgrade. What does that take? Ah, okay. So that was dark steel that was holding me up. I can see why. I hardly have any dark steel. Dark bows. These are all real nice. There's my super powerful axe. Let's go ahead and put that up. Put that up. Just taking up the crafting space. And there's my dark steel anvil too. Which I already had one of, but no reason not to go ahead and put it down on the ground and make it look cool, right? Put you right there. And you can go on the wall right here. And these things just stick around to kind of add a bit of direct... Uh, I don't really like how that looked at all. It needs to be on, yeah, so that way the background tile gives it a little bit of something. All right. So, possible upgrades. Micro Anvil Direct, Empowered 5, which I'm not going to do right now, and Explosive 1 in Travel. It doesn't really need to be empowered that high. Um, you can see that it has 
power, um, 1 million micro U, and it's going to get that power from my uh, flux networks, which is why I have the controller. This is getting held up for some reason, so I'm going to cancel all. And then I'm going to say direct again. I don't know why it wasn't working. It's very interesting um, what happens when you add mods because things get shifted. And honestly, some things do get lost when you're using refined storage. Very rarely have I had that happen. I don't know why this is being a pain. What is wrong with you? Let's take a look here. Let's just see what it takes to make you. Oh, I bet you I put that in the slowest smelter of all time. Um, let's type in blank. Yes, I did. I put it in the slow one. I really should have just gotten rid of it and done the advanced. By the way, Ender IO is um, got something that I don't. I wanted to talk about that I don't like. So here is the middle grade smelter. If I get the more advanced grade smelter, what will happen is I will end up... Really? Oh, that's why. So you're still trying to make those. Let me just say this. All right, so this top right here is useful for pulling items in and out of it or whatever. Um, and I put these in the wall so it doesn't really matter, but a lot of times people want to display them. When you get the more advanced alloy smelter, you then get more speed and processing, blah, blah, blah. But you lose the ability to, 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 to attach something to the top. You lose a side. You actually upgrade, you lose a side. That's I don't, I don't like that. I don't understand why that is either. It's like, why would I lose functionality when I upgrade something? I should gain functionality. If anything, if people want to make sided um, machines, it'd be really cool if they was... To, I don't know, maybe make it so that it has one side if it's at level one and then it gets two sides or three sides as you go up in levels or upgrade it. And I think that's pretty cool. Or even if there's a side upgrade, that could be something. I'm just hinting at that. Um, if anyone ever watches this, they'll understand what I'm saying by that. So let's do a direct. It's already done. Look at that. It's done. So once again, you're going to right click, upgrade it. Look at Oof. Took quite a bit. Took my levels. And then, there we go. There we go. Now we're ready to go. I think we'll go to the mining dimension with the satchel. Let's go ahead and get that satchel. Satchel, what are you going to do? What can you do for me? You're going to automatically pick up those. That's cool. And, oh, no, you're blacklisted, huh? Let's take you off the blacklist. And, there. And, believe me. Auto collect is enabled. Auto collect is enabled. Now V, if you see it says excavate shape, um, apparently my key binding is set for V for excavation, and it wasn't set there before. So yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Let's get some osmium. Let's get some osmium. Let's go ahead and head back down to the mine dimension. Real quick. I could randomly teleport away, or I could find some osmium. Let's get some osmium. Now, this pick shouldn't break for a very, very long time. Yeah, faster if let's fly. Okay. I'm going to go to this level. I have no idea if this is the right level, but we're doing it. All right, let's do this. Vein miner, go. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to the twilight or somewhere to get osmium. So, as you can see, there's not much you can't get. Can I speed up this stick? Um, there's aluminum. I thought that was osmium. I was so excited at first. I'm like, yes. I mean, look at this. You can just collect all this up 
really super fast. Now this is all ores are being determined by the config, so I might have to go somewhere else. Still fun to test out my new pickaxe, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think we did not add this to the list. So going to the mining dimension, looking for osmium. I guess you're gonna have to go to another dimension. So let's go back home. Eat a cookie. There we go. And we're gonna put this all in the grid because I want to. Um, I'll process it later. I want to work on processing some some ores with mechanism, and this gives me some ores to work with, including the coal. Believe it or not, you're gonna need it um, for various different things. Mechanism is is probably one of the staples I think that's going to be in every mod pack for 116 if you're even on forge or fabric at one point it's going to get ported to fabric and it's going to be awesome so let's go to the twilight real quick real quick we're running out of time there's twilight forest I don't want to go here uh, unless I do a video directly about it so I'm just going to go there to mine So, I know you're not supposed to, but I'm going to do this anyway. This world is generating. It's not... It's not safe. It's not safe. It's dark. I don't have any automatic lights. But I bet I got some coal. No, I didn't. Wow. What? Tell you what. We're going back home. This charge porter has got a, is a lifesaver. So yeah, we did enough on this video. I wanted to say thanks for everybody that stopped by. I'm going to do one more video, I think, before I call it good for a little bit. Uh, and start showing you all my new mod pack, uh, Fabric of Souls. So this is Souls44. I want to stop, uh, say thanks for anyone that did stop by and any subscribers. I will be continuing to do some content as fast as I possibly can. Unfortunately, um, I have business outside of my area of comfort and I might not be able to put enough video together because of how long I will be on um, a hiatus. I'll put it that way. Uh, I have to take care of this. It's going to take it. Uh, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, 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 I'll be far away from home, put it that way. And I won't be able to do videos uh, more than likely. I will try to upload videos and, and keep working, but it, I don't think that's going to be in the cards. So I'll try to, to get these pushed out before I leave. And then when I get back, I'll, I'll catch back up. Um, and I'll start releasing it on daily again for the next few months in a row. Hopefully every single day, like I have been. If not... Um, as soon as I possibly can. So, thanks for stopping by. This is Souls44. Uh, Galactic Chickens. Check it out. Available on the Twitch launcher with the new update. Take care. Bye-bye.